work on TV. And he's very good at TV. Because they say that actually the school was responsible for everything that was going on in the city. That, that moment, Isabella Católica decided to create a small village surrounded by walls, and the Jewish people have to move there and leave all their belongings and properties that it was in the outside part of the city. Actually, like a small ghetto. Okay. But they were also forbidden to do any regular activities and even to work. So, as the Jewish community is a very united and integrated community, in that time they realized that a Christian to another Christian can now love money. Actually, it was forbidden. It was called Ederia. So, they are not, they're not Christian, they're Jewish. So what they do? Every time that a Christian needs money, they were invited to come here to this square to ask for money. So they decided to create different wood bands in all this area. And when a Christian came here, they make a proposition like this. Hi. How are you? All good? Okay, so the people in the street, they're telling me that you need money. Is that right? Okay, so you came to the right place. So they invited you and they said, well, you can sit in one of the wood bags you choose and some person is going to come here and he's going to take care of you. Good. So you're going to sit here, just waiting, and in a moment, someone has show up. So, hi, how are you? Good. So how many gold coins do you need? Yes, and I'm. Hundred. One hundred. Okay, perfect. I can give you the gold, the one hundred gold coins, but if you don't pay me in one month, it's gonna be the double of the price. Okay. And also, I'm gonna need mm, three cows, two horses, ten chickens, and your son. Do we have a deal? Uh, okay, perfect. Nice woman. Actually, very wise woman. Okay, yeah, that, I'm supposed to tell you that's a very bad deal, right? So, in the moment you say no, you're gonna stand up and you're gonna take the bank and you're gonna break it. Okay? And then you can go. In that time, why is that? Because let's pretend that actually you say yes and actually I give you the 100 points. If you don't pay me in the month that I already give you, I'm gonna take my bank and I'm gonna go to your house and I'm gonna knock your door and I'm gonna sit in front of your house until you answer me and give me the money, okay? So the Christians, when they were looking or uh, they were watching a Jewish walking on the street with the bank on their shoulders, in the balcony, the people start screaming, run, the bank is coming, the bank is coming, <laughs> and everybody hides. <laughs> so, believe it or not, the word bank established on that because come on and give you a loading, right? And that place is actually, you are right now in one of the oldest bank around the world. What we were doing was bank. But remember when she says no, she break the bank. That woman became a broker because now she can decide which person actually is making a good deal and which one is not. And also in the street, the people that start to call her, oh no, your bank broke because you have no money at all because you didn't accept the money that they were offering. So these terms that actually we use every single day in our language is started in the initiation of the Inquisition because the Jewish decided to walk with bank on their shoulders in the time that they were collecting the money that they raised. Okay? Also from here, I would like to show you something else. And it's that. Because when I came here for the first time in Catalonia, I said, oh my God, the people from Catalonia are very patriotic. Actually, they put the flag everywhere. And let me tell you, that flag is not the official flag of the city. That flag is called La Estelada. It actually, in English, means the star. And it's like this. The blue triangle and the white star is the representation of Cuba and Puerto Rico that got the independence from Spain. Yes, and it's like this. Barcelona is just a city, Catalonia is a state. And the state of Catalonia wants the independence from Spain. So that's the reason the persons that they're putting the flag in their balconies, they're telling you as a protest that they want the independence of Catalonia. Okay? The official flag of the city is the official flag of Catalonia is just yellow and red stripes. And this one is considered the independence flag. I always say it like this, we are not in a political tour. We're actually just to tell you and let you know the origin and the message about that flag. Okay? So, believe it or not, 
there's a huge movement going on right now in the city because as you can see there's one, two, three, four, five, six, and there's another one here that is seven. So these persons are telling you that they want the independence of Canada. Okay? So I always say it's a 50-50 and right now this is not the moment to talk about that because we are now in the bold moment that is going on here in Barcelona. Okay? Perfect. Now guys, if we are the Jewish neighborhood, which place do you think that we must visit now? The church. Huh? The La Iglesia. Uh, the synagogue. synagogue. Okay, perfect. So let's go to the major synagogue of Barcelona. Good? Let's go. Thank you. Synagogue of Barcelona. Oh, what? Yes, because the first synagogue of Barcelona, or the major synagogue of Barcelona, is actually one of the oldest synagogues in Europe. It's more than 1,800 years old of construction. And it's an underground and hiding synagogue. How is that? Well, remember that I told you that the first invasion was the Greek invasion? Well, when the Greek guys who were here, they were political open to all religions, and there was a synagogue here. The Jewish establishment in this area, and they were there. After the construction of the upper side, that it was the new city, the Jewish decided to leave it underground is a way secret from the Christians. So they keep it as that way. Everybody thinks that actually that door is just the area, but it's not. That door gives you access to a, no, a downstairs that actually gives you to another downstairs. And the entire synagogue goes from that building to the other building from the other side that actually is the exit of the synagogue. This is just the end. In that time, in the 1490s, Isabel la Católica, after the, uh, the um, oh my God, <laughs> I forgot the word. You can do it. <laughs> after the Inquisition, <laughs> thank you very much. He made a second proclamation that it was called the conversion. Oh my God, I forgot completely the word. <laughs> okay, the proclamation, uh, the conversion. And how is that? Well, the, Chris, the Jewish have now two choices. The first one, convert in Christians or leave the kingdom and most of them decided to leave the kingdom. And before they left, they decided to also lock the door, or actually uh, destroy the door, put a wall over here, and uh, erase all documents that it was revealing the place where the city was. That's the reason that it was still preserved and maintained at the original one. The second and the third synagogue in, Europe, uh, in Barcelona was totally destroyed, okay? So, 250 years ago, a group of the Jewish community came here looking for the place where it was, and no one knew where it was. Just one guy, for casual, he was just here, like pretend that it is a wall. And he was smoking, well, that's the story they say, and he just turned around and he saw that in one of the, of the rock was a little small mark that actually says, Welcome to the Temple of God. And from that time, they start to destroy the wall, and they realized that that was the entry for the major city. That mark is actually put it here in ceramic, so everybody can identify it. And that's the reason, it, as you can see, it's really, really small. Okay? In 2001, the Jewish community authorized her to become this place a museum. So that's the reason that you can visit it without any problem, and you only have to pay a donation of only three euros fifty cents, and you can get inside of one of the oldest synagogue in Europe. So, expectations are too high. People think that it's going to find gold everywhere. No. Actually, what you're going to find just in the central middle is the daily star and different chambers that is the brain chambers that they use it in that time. But the recovery, actually, they want to walk one of the oldest symbols in Europe. Why is close today? Because today is Saturday and the Jewish don't work on Saturday, okay? But if you want to, you can come back tomorrow and you will see. The guys, of, uh, yeah. The, the guys that actually work here, they're very nice and they're more than welcome to tell you all the story about the Jewish community that it was happening here, okay? Remember, tomorrow is also Sunday. So, Sundays after 3 p.m., most of the museums are free admission, okay? So if you want to find out which the museums are, you're going to go to the website that is called www.lamevabarcelona, that actually means my Barcelona, and that C-A-T, cat, and then you can find the schedules for the different museums that are free. It is something. Okay? okay? So, we're gonna go.